Hey guys, Parfather here, leader of the North Kerbin Harponer Coalition, and today we have returned to the site of the Drage attack on the KSC. As you remember from the trailer, the Drage opened fire on the KSC after we failed to take it out. It has escaped into the water and to an unknown location. So, this is the aftermath. The administration building astronaut complex, space plane hangar, and the VAB have all been annihilated. However, I have recruited my best builders to fix these things. So let's go around and uh, do some repairs. Now, after this, we need to retaliate. They control half of Kerbin, I control half of Kerbin. But, while we were distracted by the Drage attack, they did come in and take Black Crags on the other side of the Kerbal, um, what's it? The, um, what's the Kerbal continent called? I, I need you guys help. You need to name these countries for me. That would be nice. So, um, I need to take your ground strike jet all the way out there. So. I was thinking of taking out the K-11 ground strike. Now I do have a bunch of aircraft purposed for these type of missions and basically you're not going to see much of me building. Those portions will come, oh yes they will come, <laughs> but you know, they're not going to be like common. Anyways, I think we make some drop tanks. It is a very long flight. So, the plan for today is going and attack and take Black Crags. And the process of taking Black Crags also includes planting a flag, we're just gonna take that base. Now the reason it was able to come in easily is we have no defenses in any of our bases. So that's gonna be the second part of this episode, setting up defenses. And it's also by far probably going to be the hardest part. So, get ready for a bit of an episode, guys. The first episode is going to be a bit of a tough one. And also, I have no idea what to use here. Alright, I'm going to get a bunch of these liquid fuel tanks, which definitely don't have the proper, like, scaling to them, but whatever gonna put a few of them in a drop chain configuration. That's a bit long. And attach a nose cone to each one of them. There we go. As a final step, I gotta make sure this actually transfers fuel properly, so gotta get these fuel ducts. Eh, that looks about right. And boom, ground strike aircraft. Let me make sure that goes there, and boom. So, this thing is armed with three Maverick missiles, and I believe that would be 16? No. Yes, no. No, 20. 20 Hellfire missiles. So, a total of 23 missiles. And we need to go out, and we've also got flares. We need to go out and take out the opposition in the Black Crags. Still don't know the name for them. I'll let you guys tell me, and, you know, that'll be nice. I want you to name the enemy for me. Alright, switch weapon, fire. This is my design, I just forget the action group sometimes. Let's get launching. Now, I'm going to switch over to cinematic mode when... We're in the air, because nobody wants to see me flying a few, what, hundred kilometers? So, yeah. Let me just get this thing in the air. Now this thing both has about 300 units of fuel in the drop tanks. Should be plenty to at least last us to Black Crags. If not, we can land there. I plan a return trip, though. Because currently there's no refueling vessels at Black Crags. Also, I'm going to emphasize reusability in this series. So any craft used, I'm going to try to, like, recover and stuff like that. 
So yeah, we're in the air. I'm gonna set heading to Black Crags. I believe it's this way. I'm gonna double check. Yep. Setting his target. I've set the uh, target by long range radar transmitting from the tracking station. Gain some altitude. And I'll see you guys when we reached Black Crags. Welcome everybody to Black Crags. We are beginning our attack run. And we have to prioritize that anti-aircraft gun. They have a fighter interceptor on the runway, which is a bit of an issue. And the only way we can solve that is dogfighting. Unless we can get some early salvos of Hellfires out. So, at 20 kilometers, I'm going to launch the Mavericks and slow my velocity. In fact, I'm going to slow my velocity now. The Mavericks are located in the bomb bay doors. So they're concealed. Looks like... Oh. Control surface glitch. Alright, 20 kilometers has come and went, so... There goes the Mavericks. Now, there's Mavericks, I hope they can make it about 18 kilometers. That's my biggest worry. My second worry is being able to dogfight. So, I'm gonna slow down. Oh crap. Those missiles did not make it as far as I'd hoped. Not nearly as far as I'd hoped. Let's give it a few hellfires then. At least give it a distraction. Because I don't want that thing opening fire on me. Oh, we've entered physics load. Get ready to see some red tracers coming from that CIWS to take out the hellfires. Yep, let me fire a few more. It's getting a bit laggy. Ooh. Flares, looks like the interceptor's taken off. Oh dear. It's fired all of its missiles. Oh, what do we have here? All the hellfires hit. That's a score. But what about this fighter? Oh crap. 
The fighter has taken us down. Oh, geez. This is bad. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yes! Alright, our pilot has survived. That's good. But, it looks like we cannot capture this base today. Their fighter is just way too good. We are going to keep Tomvis inside of the cockpit and send him a bit of a rescue. We're going to have to fight that aircraft. So, I'll see you when that happens. We've got to go back to the space center. I'm sorry, I'm not leaving yet. Can't get rid of me. I am the commander of the NKHC, and I declare that I will not be gotten rid of that easily. We have lost a ground attack aircraft. Well, to a fighter. Not really much of a surprise, but it is a loss nonetheless. So, I am going to take out my top fighter. Oh yes. My top fighter. My top fighter is the... I don't even remember the name of it. <laughs> oh, I don't think I have it here. Well then, in that case... It looks like we're gonna have to use the B. Yep. Looks like we're to the B. Darn. I keep forgetting which crafts I transferred over to this world. <laughs> so if I open up the B. Oh yes, this is the multi-role variant of the B. This will do. So, to spare you loading screens and all that, I am going to skip to the approach on Black Crags, and we are going to take down that fighter. I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. The long journey of the bee is coming to an end. It doesn't have much fuel, but I didn't actually have to go on full throttle the whole time because this thing was fast. I started encountering re-entry heating because of how fast this thing goes in the upper atmosphere. So, uh, yeah, like a third throttle did the job. Anywho, time to intercept the interceptors. They're going to try to intercept me, and I'm going to eh, intercept them. And the interception. Inception. Right? Right. So, just uh, continuing my light descent down into the lower atmosphere. And getting ready to fight the opposition. Again, that's what we're calling them until somebody helps me come up with a name for them. And I'll give them credit for the name, too. I think it would be nice to have a worthy adversary with a good name. As well as a flag. If somebody could design me a better flag, because I'm just a bad flag designer. I mean, you guys did see my flag, right? It's pretty crappy. But, uh, it'll do. So first off... Hmm. I'm going to get rid of the rest of the debris from the CIWS. I mean, I get a nice quick save just in case I do something horribly stupid. CIWS debris, your days are numbered. Yep. Just gonna get rid of the debris and lighten my load. Those missiles are expensive, but <laughs> probably shouldn't have armed them in the first place, so it's my fault regardless. Oh, 
fighters are loading in. Oh dear. Something's happened. We've got one fighter taken off. Looks like the other one crashed on him on takeoff. So. Time to get rid of him. It's a good thing we only have to fight one. They tried to mobilize another fighter when they realized I was incoming, but looks like that one was faulty. He's got flares. I gotta be more careful. Oh, got him. Sort of. Hmm. I think in their rush to produce these fighters, they forgot flares. A score for me. Certainly. But there can be no survivors. Come on. Got him. Alright. Looks like we've taken down the last bit of opposition. Now it's just debris clearing. Hmm. I am wasting ammo. Let me just launch a few hellfires. Lighten the load for my landing. All in all, it looks like we've been successful in taking over Black Crags. It did take two aircraft, though. I would have liked it to just be the one. Oh, I really need to clear the runway of that debris. I'm going to take a slow pass. And... Gotcha. Got... Gotcha? Ooh, that's one stubborn bit of debris. But it's okay, I'm going on my landing approach. Hopefully it shouldn't bother. Expend the rest of that hellfire ammo. Please kill it. Darn it. Come on. Coming in for a landing now. This thing is very glidey. Oh, it looks like the debris is the missiles. Wow. That was a surprise. Um. But anyway. We have successfully taken over Black Crags, and in celebration, we will plant a flag. And... I believe that honor should go to the Valiant pilot who first attempted to take the base. So let's get Tomvis out of here. He deserves to plant the flag. He braved the storm and went down all in all a respectable Kerbal. In every respect of the name just raided him into me, said he's going to take a very long time to get there. He's going to pass the duty on to one of the pilots of the B. Honestly, I think those pilots would definitely be flattered. Tomvis is going to continue his trek. But one of the B pilots is taking over the responsibility. I'm sending out Dunhat, who has stepped onto the wing. <laughs> Oof. And it looks like there's nothing else to shoot at. Successful first raid. Um, avenged the KSC. And next episode, we should take out some defenses. Next episode will be a purely passive episode unless we get attacked. But uh, we'll be deploying defenses in multiple locations that we own. Now if I was just to plant the flag. Beautiful. 
black crags. And then those for the camera. Actually, no, let's get the bee into the picture too. There we go. Lovely picture. Well, forces overlay. <laughs> oh, he's so clumsy. But anyways, I think that sums up the first attack. I will see you all in the next episode of Kerbal Conflict. Things are starting to look up immediately, but morale shouldn't be too high. Because I have that sinking feeling that the enemy has not shown its true power yet. Even though they've already taken out the KSC. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.